Hello, my name is Richard Hollipa, AGRAN Research and Development Manager. This voiceover PowerPoint summarizes the findings of the 2011 Vegetable Productivity Study conducted at AGRAN in Superior, Wisconsin. This presentation is produced by AGRAN Natural Fertilizers, a division of Amsoil Incorporated. For a detailed account of this study, please consult literature item G2957 or download a copy from our website at www.agran.com. The 2011 Agran Vegetable Productivity Study is part of a long-term program to provide quantifiable crop growth, yield, and soil analysis comparisons over an extended number of growing seasons. Being the second year of this work, Soil nutrient levels and yield trends are becoming clearer as a result of following sustainable growing techniques in the Agran plot. This year's program featured yield comparisons between plot using Agran fertilizer and soil amendments and a leading organic fertilizer. Four common garden vegetables, tomatoes, potatoes, broccoli, and carrots were grown and compared for size, weight, total number, and total weight. Prior to planting, a growth plot sowing plan was established to utilize the area efficiently by providing ample room for the vegetables to grow and develop. A two-foot walking path was established between the vegetable types to facilitate watering, fertilizing, and weeding. The vegetables chosen in this study were popular hybrid varieties the seed being established in Wisconsin or Minnesota to produce good yields in cooler climates. The following seed and seed potato varieties were planted in this study. Kennebec potatoes, Nelson carrots, Pac-Man broccoli, and Celebrity tomatoes. The potatoes were planted on May 11th, 8 inches deep and covered with 3 inches of soil. Four rows of six plants were established in each timber box. On June 2nd, four rows of carrot seeds were sown in each planting bed. In addition, nine tomato and 24 broccoli plants were transplanted in each planter. At planting, each vegetable received fertilizer or water. The 2011 Vegetable Productivity Study shows detailed application amounts of each product through the entire growing season. Vegetables in the Agran plot received fertilizer amounts and timing that followed the Agran gardening guide. The competitive organic fertilizer was applied every two weeks at the rate specified by the manufacturer's label. The control plot received only water during times of fertilizer application. Basic techniques were employed to fertilize individual plants. Fertilizer was mixed with water and applied using a 1,000 milliliter graduated cylinder and added to each plant, where applicable, or 6,000 milliliters of solution was added to each row to ensure equal fertilizing throughout the study. The next three slides, starting with the control plot, show the growth plots on July 25, 2011. The control plot has had no fertilizer added, only water. The following are the plant locations within the plot. Upper left is broccoli. Upper right are potatoes. Lower left, tomatoes. Lower right, carrots. This plot has been fertilized with a leading organic fertilizer according to manufacturer's recommendations once every two weeks. And the Agran plot. Compare the growth progress and vigor of the three plots. Which one would you choose to be the best? The pictures show the Agran broccoli harvest, measuring and weighing of each head. Carrots grew well in all plots with Agran having an edge in total weight. Each carrot was measured for length and weight. Agran fertilized potatoes outnumbered and provided more weight than the leading organic fertilizer or control plots. Again, each potato was weighed and measured. Tomato harvest extended into October with Agran coming out on top in terms of number and weight. Each harvested tomato was measured for maximum diameter and weight. 
The A grant fertilization program shows a clear advantage over the leading organic fertilizer and control plots as far as the number and weight of vegetables harvested during the 2011 growing season for these particular vegetables, soil, and weather conditions. As seen by the data, the number of vegetables produced by the Agran fertilization system outpaced the leading organic fertilizer and tremendously outnumbered the control plots. The carrots were thinned to target 117 in each plot, with some not maturing. The yield can be best reflected in the total weight of carrots that each plot produced. By weight, the best comparison of yield shows that A Grant provided a clear advantage over the leading organic fertilizer by producing 28% more broccoli, 27% more carrots, 27% more tomatoes, and 40% more potatoes. Although the percent increase in productivity over the control is not listed above, it is obvious by observing the harvest weight that A Grant easily outproduced the control plot. Prior to planting and after harvest, samples were obtained to characterize each growth plot soil. Soil samples were obtained from the top six inches of the planting bed at evenly spaced points using a soil sample probe. All samples were analyzed at Midwest Laboratories in Omaha, Nebraska. When comparing samples obtained in April 2010 and after the 2011 growing season, increases in organic matter, pH, bicarbonate phosphorus, and cation exchange capacity were noted in each plot. On the other hand, due to plant growth and weathering processes, a number of soil nutrients decreased in all plots. Nitrate, nitrogen, and sulfur were reduced along with micronutrients, iron, copper, and boron. Sodium, a highly leachable element, was also reduced, most likely due to water movement through the soil. Levels of phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and zinc increased in the A grant plot compared to the soils in the control and competitive plots. Soil fertility will continue to be monitored from year to year. In 2011, research tools were acquired to enhance the documentation of plant growth and conditions. Weather data collection is an essential tool to record the environmental conditions that the plants encounter throughout their growth and development. The weather station was installed at the end of the 2010 growing season with data being collected as early as October 2010. The components consisted of instrumentation for data collection, display, and storage. Carbon dioxide respiration is a measure of the bacterial action within the soil that leads to mineralization of key soil nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus and can be an indicator of soil health. Agran obtained the Solvita respiration system that included a Solvita digital color reader, test jars, and a color metric paddles. Soil samples from each plot quadrant were evaluated for CO2 respiration. To provide objective plant vigor data, a Field Scout CM1000 chlorophyll meter was obtained. The technology used in this device was initially developed by NASA to determine the density, health, and distribution of the Earth's vegetation. Chlorophyll levels are an indicator of the amount of nitrogen in the plants and directly related to the plant's vigor and, in cases of plant stress, the amount of nitrogen needed for optimal growth. In all cases, the Agran fertilized plant showed increased chlorophyll levels over the plants fertilized with the leading organic fertilizer and the control plot. For detailed information concerning the study, consult the Agran 2011 Vegetable Productivity Study, G2957.